They teach us how and when to find steel in the heart when life makes demands on us. They defy the law of nature by taking the mantle of motherhood and solely carrying a burden that was meant for two hearts. They are our heroes who trudged on when a helpmate was not there. Rewriting the law of nature, they become a bosom of love, hope and security to their children. Some fathers thrived and strived where mothers failed. They are worthy of our celebration. Some people need to learn from them. On this season of Supermom, we shall be celebrating fathers that gave their children a new lease of life against all odds. If you have such a father, log on to www.supermom.ng or call 081-452-23133 and you can win for him a brand new car, 1 million naira and 500,000 naira. Supermom Season 5, My Dad, My Supermom. Coming soon. This program is sponsored by Safeguard. Double protection against germ. RLB. All round protection. Hunger. Mama's helping hand. We asked Nigerians to share the stories of their mothers, the sacrifices they made for them, the journey of pain, love, devotion, and struggles made by our mothers to make us who we are today. They shared their stories with us. Thousands of entries, hundreds of interviews, and documentary across the country. 20 unique stories have been selected for us to learn from, appreciate, and celebrate. The sacrifices and devotion are real. Real people, real stories, real experiences. The emotional true life experiences being shared, narrated, and dramatized are simply captivating. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the most touching stories of our mothers. The Supermom Reality TV Show Celebrity Edition starts now. You're welcome to the most passionate reality show on TV, Today's episode, as always, it's going to be fascinating as we commend yet another two valiant mothers who suffered and struggled to clear a genuine path for their children to pass through. The gift of birthright with which they fostered their children has continued to be a significant motivation for these children to shape their lives. Tony Tetwila For Anthony Olarewaju Awotoye, a.k.a. Tetwila, he had always wanted to sing right from his days in secondary school. He didn't get the chance to demonstrate his love for music, however, until he got to the Federal Polytechnic offer in Kwara State, where he had been admitted to study business administration. For him, the only extracurricular activity he was interested in was music. Soon, it became inevitable that even he would one day mount the stage and showcase his love of the crooning profession. He was that popular amongst the ladies. Having started with the remedies, he later went solo to launch his debut album with a consolidation of other musical hits, notably his collab with Ghanaian Tic Tacs, I'm in love with two women track. Presently, Tetwila remains a prominent factor in Nigeria's music industry. Yeah, my name is Tony Tetwila. As you all know, your homeboy, golden boy of Africa, platinum head bombshell. Yeah, I actually, I'm, I'm a musician, you know, I sing, I'm an artist at the same time, at the same time. I fight Kung Fu, I do everything. Um, I school in Kwa State Polytechnic, uh, I study business at main school. Um, I, I'm from Kwa State though, my mom and dad from Kwa State. I was born in Lagos, you know, I actually want to talk about my mom. <laughs> I am Cecilia Awotoe. I'm from Oro Town. I am Tatwila's mother. Tony Awotoe Olarewaju. Mom, eh? First of all, I used to call my mom Mami. Because I'd be your mom Mami. <laughs> and she's a very, very good woman. She, she's the perfect mother I've ever seen in my life because uh, I, I can't try any other for her. And uh, ever since I've been, I've been brought to this world, she, she has been there for me. She has been the one 
that I've been doing, all the things that I have achieved in life. Though God, God is always there first, you know. Uh, you know, after God is my mom. I love her so much because uh, I know what she she been through, raising me up, you know. Fate dealt a big blow on her son on his tenth month when a big lump suddenly swelled on his chest. She was distressed that she took him around different hospitals for remedy. Yet, no medication came through until she was directed to the general hospital in Ujuelagba. Suddenly, I saw that his chest was swollen. He carried him hurriedly. Did he fall? I said he didn't fall. What did he use it to do? I don't understand. We took him to about four hospitals before we were referred to the hospital in Ujuelagba. When we got to Ojo Legba, he was tested and he was given an injection on his chest. They noticed that pulse came out of it and they said, okay, no problem, maybe it's just a boy. And they carried out an operation on him. The water and blood that gushed out of Tony's chest during the operation can fill up to four buckets. Despite that, he was a strong child. He didn't really disturb me. He was just playing. People kept saying, your son is strong, despite all he has gone through. This is, this is really spiritual, you know. Um, and she was running to different people just to save me, just for me not to die, you know. Life continued to be interesting until they made a visit to their hometown for a wedding ceremony. I started walking then, you know, but she just told me all of a sudden I woke up one day and I couldn't walk. And they would have to rush me down to different hospitals. Even they went to loops, you know. I was like, ah. So you went, you went through all this for your son. You know, in, in, in some kind of... Um, places and you know some kind of maybe family you know like if a woman has a lot of kids it will not even like care about maybe if she's going to lose one after going through some stress or, or, or running up and down you know but in this kind of uh, case you know my mom was there for me my mom was like ah this boy must not die. Um, there is nothing more that we can do with the son. What is my dad's son? Well, madam, if you learn to manage him, I don't think you can walk again. No! No way! Never! He will walk again, doctor! I think he was walking before this strange illness, man. He was walking, madam. I understand. You know, sometimes the body plays games, and uh, you should learn to manage him because if you do, he could have a productive life. No! What do you mean by that? My son will walk again. He will just let to walk. Doctor, I don't want to hear this so he will walk again. I took him to Idiaraba. When we got there, he was tested. He couldn't even stand. His back was swollen like he was about to develop hunchback. He couldn't walk. He couldn't do anything. I was just calling on God. Calling on God. They carried out a test on him. We were giving drugs. They gave us an appointment to come back. I left there calling on God. The day I left there was the day Muritala died. We didn't get a means of transportation. I trekked home. When we got home, in the evening at about 4 o'clock, when his stools, it would be black. His stool is black. I was asked to make him only heads. Suddenly one day, at about 4 o'clock in the evening, suddenly, like a dream, like a joke, the leg he hasn't been able to use to stand up or walk or do anything, he suddenly stood up and snapped his leg backwards. I started thanking God. I was thanking God until he grew up and was of school age. Though once in a while he had striking pains in the leg, it wasn't like the second one. Everything is like, ah, so you went through all this. Yeah, yeah. But Tony, let me just tell you something. God has ordained you to be somebody in life. 
and that's what you have to be and you have to like achieve that thing before anything or any you can't even die I said okay that way it's not easy to raise to raise a kid you know, to bring someone up from childhood Mrs. Cecilia hawked rubber slippers around the market with a selling around she was able to take care of her children when I gather my wares, I pack cigarettes and different things. I'll walk to the market. I did this until we packed to this town. When we got to this town, I started selling shoes. I usually hawk the shoes when I buy them. I add money to the ones that I have sold and buy another set to sell. I started doing that. There is nothing I did not sell. Before the issue of the shoe, I sold cooking pots. I would carry the bus stop. All I know was the one she told me about when she was... Uh, Hawking. So, ah, Mama, you say pull a nut. Say, ah. So, you say, oh. so then things were so rough and she had to get a business doing. I sold granuts. I sold sugar cane. There is nothing I didn't sell in my life in order to make money until God helped me get a shop. As she had mouths to feed and her husband was not helping the matter, she realized she must never let anything to her from taking proper care of her children. We went to one time for a festival during the festive period. We got back. My husband said, this man is my father-in-law. My son, who is a reverend father, is coming to visit. He gave me money to cook for him. I cooked. And when I finish cooking, whoever gives me money to cook, I'll give him food. Then my husband said, why did I give him food? Why didn't he collect from his wife? And the Baba said, you don't beg for respect. If your wife respects me, she will give me food. To cut the long story short, send it on me. Before I knew, he gave me this slap on my eye. This eye. Until tomorrow, I can't see. Everybody was shouting. It's enough. Leave this house. Don't let them kill you. I couldn't leave because he's the father of my children and I'm the first wife. Yes, Mama. The other guys are good too, but I know we'll make good music out of this. Hmm. How much do you want for your studio section? Yes, Mama. Like I said, I used to organize shows in school then, and I, that's how I got to know Idris. Because there was one of these shows that I did that uh, then King DJ Shino brought Idris to. Um, to Ilori. So I met him, I was like, ah, this is good, this is nice. And then I've been like disturbing my mom that I just want to travel. If it's a school of music I have to go to, I wouldn't mind. That would, I've been like disturbing her for that then. She, I think she was making some kind of move to get me visa then. And so when I met Idris, I thought of, okay, this, this guy is good. Let's, let's, let, let me introduce him to my mom. That was where he met Remedy. They both came to my house. And Remedy told me that anything a child wants to be in life, let's allow him. That he wants to sing, let's allow him to sing. That was how both of them came to my place. All their food and drink of Remedy, I took charge of it. You think I was Remedy's mother, God took care of us. I had a car that I was using then, a Benz. They used the car till it was worn out. You know, my mom is a kind of woman that she doesn't want to see you cry. She doesn't want to see you in pain. She doesn't want to see you facing stress or, or feeling bad, you know. This uh, was the same one that 
accommodated all my friends, you know, then when we were nothing. Uh, friends like uh, the earthquake, friends like Olumente, friends like Two Face, friends like uh, Black Face, friends like uh, like uh, Face, you know, for IK Dairo. You know, my, my mom welcomed everybody. Uh, everybody was like, ah, mommy, 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 mommy. That's, a, that's, that's a, what we call her. If I should come back to this world, I still want my mom to be my mom. Amen. <laughs> Oh my, you know what I'm saying? Oh, you sorry, oh, you sorry. You know what I'm saying? Oh, my, you're the only one who knows what They teach us how and when to find steel in the heart when life makes demands on us. They defy the law of nature by taking the mantle of motherhood and solely carrying a burden that was meant for two hearts. They are our heroes who trudged on when a helpmate was not there. Rewriting the law of nature, they become a bosom of love, hope and security to their children. Some fathers thrived and strived where mothers failed. They are worthy of our celebration. Some people need to learn from them. On this season of Supermom, we shall be celebrating fathers that gave their children a new lease of life against all odds. If you have such a father, log on to www.supermom.ng or call 081-452-23133 and you can win for him a brand new car, 1 million naira and 500,000 naira. Supermom Season 5, My Dad, My Supermom. Coming soon. This program is sponsored by Safeguard. Double protection against germs. RRB. All round protection. Hunger. Mama's helping hand.